question. If I asked you, what great things did you accomplish in the last seven days? As opposed to what terrible thing did you do in the last seven days? More likely than not, people have an easier time stating the things they didn't like that they did more than the great things that they did. Now, when I say great, I don't mean like monumental on a scale of the whole world is going to appreciate it. No, not really. But in your own world, great. Let's stop downplaying our great wins. Hi, this is Jan from New York. I love helping people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. Welcome to another episode of a No Frills Wednesday. We're more than a minute, and I'm less than five minutes. Let's jump into it. You know, recently I saw a show where people were financially audited, okay? And um, no judgment ever. I'm just like a viewer, like anyone else. But I am kind of fascinated and amazed in general in life how some people with huge, I mean, fairly huge incomes considering their age bracket. But I do know that the cost of living today is a whole lot different than the cost of living X number of years ago. I get that. I really, really do. But I am also fascinated and amazed with the folks who do not have the greatest numerical income and still find a way not only to manage to pay all of their bills, stay debt free, and somehow squeeze that little orange to the depth of its being every last drop to create savings. To me, that is not a small feat. If you fall into the category where you're a working person or you know how to manage your sparse income somehow, you know, your income comes in, you still can manage to pay all of your bills, live a debt-free life, and still manage to save, even if it's a small amount of savings. It's not the idea. You're not in debt. You're not squandering your money into ridiculous areas. Some of the people that I watch on these types of shows, for example, it shocks me no end. There was recently a married couple on one of those shows whose eating out budget superseded in a percentage way. Their eating out, their dining out habits, rather, was overshadowing the money they pay for housing. And I know that, you know, the couple was embarrassed and kudos to them for looking for help. So there's no way of put down here. I'm really admiring someone who puts it out there like that. But I'm also puzzled about how can any of us get into such a place? So well, that's the trick to being able to identify it. And how is it possible that people who are on the teensy weensy, itsy bitsy, tiny budget still come out really, in my opinion, a really a winner? Because when we live, when we live the debt free life, to me, that is a less worrisome, less headache free life for real and for true, like big time. Doesn't mean you're a gazillionaire or anything like that. It means you're getting by and still comfortable enough to save something may not be big, big, big numbers, but what good of, to me, what good is having big, big, big numbers if people can't manage what they're doing with their money? So the trick is to please pat yourself on the back. If you try your best and you do get by, your numbers aren't big, but you're not scraping out of debt. You're, you do not have debt. Please don't downplay that. And I, decided to make this video for you, for the person that has tried and stayed debt-free. Maybe you pulled yourself out of debt. Yay, extra kudos there. And for anyone who's embarking on learning how to get out of debt, kudos to you too as well for being honest enough with yourself and facing the music. Is that an easy thing to do? No, 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 no. Sometimes we have to roll up our sleeves and get a little bit of dirty mud on our face to figure out we have a mess to clean up. Please don't downplay the small wins. Please don't just, you know, guide yourself or gauge yourself against other people's huge incomes. How do you know that those people are managing their huge incomes wisely? Never forget that. Have an amazing, fantastic day and take good care. Bye-bye.